Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate episode 26. We've knocked out one unexplored area completely. And I think when you look at the map, it just leaves you with a bit of a sense of accomplishment that uh, kind of conquered it. It's nothing left and uh, you own it now or something. I think we're gonna... We're gonna head out now in obviously a new direction. Um, maybe we'll... Maybe we'll do some questing. Uh, maybe that, that'll be a little more exciting than some random areas. But first, we're going to make a stop at the Nashkel. Nash, town of Nashkel. Uh, to resup do some resupplying. Because uh, the person playing the game was too lazy to do it before. Uh, and I suffered the consequences. Um, I, think I, I think we have time to do a little bit of pilfering. What do you think? I, yeah, th there's never... There's never a short of, too short of amount of a time to uh, steal from people. What? They lock their doors. Nothing anyone can't handle and get a free 10 EXP off of. Oh, nuts, people. Who's this guy? No, that's not a guy. It looks like a kid. Who are you? What do you want? Father, there's strangers in the kitchen. What's wrong, son? Hey, what are the bunch of you doing in my home? Get out, you hear me? Get out. Huh. Well, what's his problem? What's wrong, son? Hey, what are the... Bu oh, what? Yeah. He has a name. His name is Lal. Lal. I don't know. Does it... Does the... Does the wife have a name? Wait, okay. The kid is just a commoner. So is the wife. Huh. I wonder if there's something you can do with these guys. But it's kind of weird. Oh, well. Too many people to really bother messing with them, so I guess we'll just continue on up to the store. Oh, hey, another house. And a cow. I love cows. They're just so cow-like. Also, oh, I don't have the charm animal ability. Oh, well, we'll try and pick lock at this. Or, see if we can... Oh, well, we need to pick lock that. Uh, what are these people thinking, locking their doors at night? It's not like random people run through the house, or the town, and, uh, steal from them. What are you doing to my home? Get out of here before I have to hurt you. Yeah, I'd like to see you do that. Is there anything over here? No. Is that the McDonald's sign? Right there? Oh, no, those are towels hanging up that just happen to look like an M. I wish he'd leave and go to the next room. Okay, we picked the log, but I doubt there's anything even worthwhile in it. Oh, wait, he's moving? He's moving. Come on, man, go in the other room. Go in the other room. You know you want to. Leave. Go. Flee. Oh. You know what? That's it. Someone has noticed you. The guards are being summoned. All of that for three gold pieces and a silver ring? I'm getting out of here. Well, that really wasn't that productive, but oh well. Satisfied my uh, thirst for curiosity. And we'll just continue on up here to the store now. Not, not else to do. Oh, come on. No. Okay. I hate it when they, you like you'll tell them to go a direction and they'll just go completely in the other direction. Actually, I think is this this is a tavern, right? Yeah, the Belching Dragon Tavern. <laughs> what a great name! I, I if he's here, I want to show everyone a character. Ah, here he is, Volo himself. Let's go talk to Volo. Uh, yes, the uh, a tab. Um, uh, another ale, young miss. I'll be sure to have your funds ready. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he would. Greetings, fellow traveler, for I see by your garb that you do not pl call this place home. He talks a bunch, uh, we won't read all of it, but he mentions Nashkel difficulties, and then he, uh, he says he'll tell you a story if, uh, you buy him some mail. So I'll just say the tale of the guard sounds interesting, and he tells you Commander Brage, who went on a rampage and, uh, killed his family, uh, I think that's what he's talking about here. Yeah. Um, 
so I'll just say an interesting story to be sure. Well, Volo, good luck on your journeys. Volo is, uh, he is actually right about that Commander Bridge or Barrage or however you want to pronounce it, but what's really interesting about Volo is, um, not what he says, but the fact that for those of you who have the Baldur's Gate 1, uh, the original Baldur's Gate 1, and you still kept the box or the instruction book or that, you remember that map that you got? They give you a map of the entire Sword Coast. He is the one who drew the map, quote-unquote, drew the map. He's also the one who writes the survival guide in the instruction book. It says Volo's Guide to Surviving the Forgotten Realms, and then if you read the map, it says Volo's Map or something. So it's kind of funny, you know, that, that you, ha you can actually hold something in your hands that supposedly came from a character in the game, you know, it just... Kind of funny. I only recently realized that. I, m I only recently made that connection. And I can't believe I didn't see it before. But I mean, you know. I just, uh. I, I wasn't paying attention. Wait, what? Can't we go in the shop? Oh, right. He, uh. He, bought, he buys the, uh. Winter Wolf pelts from you for 500 gold. And they're normally only just 250. So 500 gold, you know, not bad. That was 1,000 gold for just holding on to those. And he does it automatically. You don't have to go into the store and sell them, so. Oh, the blue stone necklaces are worth uh, 15 gold. I thought they were only worth 2 for some reason. Uh, so I guess they're a little more worthwhile to pick up than not. I will say, though, in the later games when they added the gemstone bags, um, I think that was a really good idea. Uh, it just makes carrying the gems so much more manageable, especially, I don't know, that later in the game you have so many. I mean, I'm not for making the game easy. Cause, see, I have mixed feelings about the bag of holding. One bag of holding is okay, I, but in like Icewind Dale 2, I remember I had like I had like a million, I, or not like a million, but I had a bunch, and I think it, I think it just made it too easy. Uh, so it's it's I don't know. I don't I don't like uh, the, being able to just carry whatever, but you know whatever. Uh, regardless, I, I guess we don't need those, the vial of the mysterious potion, or this mysterious liquid anymore. Um, we'll sell those potions when we find someone who will buy them. The potion of Master, th master Thievery increases lockpicking and pickpockets by 40, which is, which is good. But I just don't think we'd ever use it, because our pick, our pick lock is already, um, is already what, like, a hundred? So, we don't, we aren't going to have any trouble yet with that. And then, um, then the, uh, oh, what is it called? Uh, pickpocket. You know, that would, that would be handy, but I really don't think we're going to be picking anyone's pocket, uh, anytime soon. And, Dine here, maybe you can, oh, you failed? Who cares? Just in for vision. Kind of a useless spell anyway. History of the Dead. Why, why am I even holding on to this book? I don't know. It's just, yeah, that's, that's it. I'm like a pack rat, I don't get rid of anything. So we'll just ditch that. No need to keep that anymore. Um then we'll reset our arrows and stones. Oh, it's such a pain, uh to not have enough of your ranged weapon. Always overkill when you buy. Never think you're buying too much. Because you probably aren't. Um And I think we'll have to stop there. Maybe I can reset these before we have to quit. But when we pick up, I think uh, we'll be traveling to the carnival. Uh, that sounds like fun. There's a little bit of uh, mischief and trouble to be had there. So until next time. Okay, so it turns out I had a little bit more time than I thought. I think it's a great uh, chance to show some people something they might have missed in the old uh, Baldur's Gate game. If you go to the original, click on credits, you might be in for a little bit of a surprise. <laughs> you gotta love the spirit of the people who originally made this game. You just don't see it in video games these days. <laughs> Make way! 
Well, anyway, I won't be able to post any videos uh, over the weekend. Uh, so everyone enjoy their weekend. Uh, I hopefully enjoy my movies, and uh, maybe we'll play the uh, complete uh, song of this uh, some other time. Uh, have a great uh, day.